So Michigan goes to play in Bloomington tomorrow against Indiana, and I honestly think that this will be our first loss to them um, in 33 years. Um, Indiana is kind of on a hot streak. They're, uh, they're actually favored in the matchup predictor for this game, uh, even though Michigan is a three-point favorite and the, on the line. Um, they are ranked 10 spots ahead of us, which has never happened. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember the last time they've ever been ranked higher than us when going in to play them. And I, I could be wrong, but I do think we're going to lose this game. Um, they're on a hot streak. They beat Penn State, you know, and then they beat Rutgers last week. It wasn't the greatest performance against Rutgers, but the Penn State game was impressive, even though I don't think that that was a touchdown. I think Penn State got screwed. But still, it was a really good performance by Indiana in the end. Um, and Penn State is still a decent team, so... Uh, I'm not going to say that Penn State isn't a good team and have Indiana just, you know, they got lucky because Penn State was actually not as good as people thought they were going to be. Um, Indiana's still a good team. They're undefeated right now. They get, they you know, they have not really home field advantage because there's not going to be any fans, but um, Michigan's going into this game against Indiana. Um, coming off a loss to Michigan State last week, so we should use that as fuel uh, to, you know, and to, to just go into that game and, and, uh, and dominate. Um, Indiana has a very strong uh, offense, when it, especially when it comes to Michael Penix Jr., their quarterback. They've got fast receivers. Our defense, our secondary, very weak. Um, it's been our weakest point other than the special teams like kicking field goals. It's our weakest point on the field. We're all right at stopping the run, but when it comes to stopping the pass, we allow over 260 yards passing on average in two games. Uh, so it's not good. Offense, I loved our offense in the first game, but after seeing them in this second game, um, I'm honestly... I'm honestly scared um, because um, our offense just didn't play well against Michigan State. We couldn't run the ball. Um, Joel Milton was throwing inaccurate passes. It just wasn't a good game offensively, um, and it wasn't enough to beat Michigan State. And it's it was honestly embarrassing losing to Michigan State because we shouldn't have lost. Um, especially after they just came off beating or losing to Rutgers in week one. How do you lose to a team that lost to Rutgers? I mean, you're a bad team at that point. Um, but let me, let me know what you guys think because uh, I think this game is going to be difficult. Um, most predictions I see still have Michigan winning. Um I think out of seven experts through Athlon Sports, six of them said Michigan will win and cover, uh, cover the spread. Um, I think we're going to lose. And uh, if, if we do lose, you will hear from me. And I will be, at that point, calling for Jim Harbaugh to be fired. He has been at Michigan since 2015. And he has not done anything for us since being there. The only thing he's done was win us one bowl game in his first year. After that, we haven't won a single bowl game under him. Uh, 2015, we beat Florida in uh, what, I don't even remember what bowl game it was. We beat them, we dominated, dominated them in that first bowl game in Jim Harbaugh's first year. After that, lost to Florida State in the bowl game. After that, we lost to, um, who, who did we lose to in 2017? I don't even remember. Was it Florida? Or no, it wasn't Florida. God, who was it? I don't even remember. Um, 2018, we lost uh, to Florida. In 2019, we lost to Alabama. So we're 1-4 with Jim Harbaugh in, in bowl games, which isn't good. We need to do better with that. And, um, I mean... The, and the biggest reason why I think Jim Harbaugh and Don Brown 
should both be fired if we lose this game is because we haven't lost to them in 33 years. If we win tomorrow, that's 25 straight wins against Indiana. 25. Not even Rich Rodriguez and Brady Hoke lost to Indiana when they were coaches at Michigan, and they were pretty bad for us. Rich Rodriguez was bad. He did nothing with Michigan. His best record in four years was 7-6. and six. Um, His first year, we won three games. He still beat Indiana. So if Jim Harbaugh loses to Indiana tomorrow, um, Jim Harbaugh, not only Jim Harbaugh needs to be fired, but Don Brown also needs to be fired, our, our defensive coordinator. Josh Gaddis, I'm giving him a pass. It's only his second year. Offense is improving. It's, it's going to get there at some point. Uh, I just don't know when yet. Um, but we'll see. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where, where, where this game goes. And um, hopefully we do win. But I don't have hope, high hopes for this team unless our defense can really improve in the secondary. Unless they start looking like the, if they looked like our 2017 defense that played lights out every week and was ranked number one in college football i would have no worries whatsoever i would believe we would do, probably dominate and wouldn't let them score any points and we'd probably be undefeated easy um but that is it's not our 2017 defense it's still a fairly young fairly young team 2019 was a older team um you know, had to replace a lot of guys on defense. But it honestly shouldn't matter because it's Don Brown. Don Brown always uh, replaces his defense. I mean, 2017 was a young team, and that defense was still amazing. Um, every year, even no matter how young our defense is, we've looked amazing. Uh, this, this year, is, we haven't looked good on defense at all. And on offense, we're 50-50. We're, uh, we're, uh, will we show up and play or will we not? We showed up in the first game, didn't show up in the second game. So let me know what you guys think. Will we beat Indiana? Will the streak continue? Will we have our 25th straight win? Or will they have their first win against us in 33 years?